We'd finally made it home to Paris, only to find a place we hardly recognized. It was obvious Le Paradox was now in control, since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief. But what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. Only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. With his father gone, Le Paradox had no one to teach him the family business. And after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, Le Paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita. All right, well... PlayStation, are you okay? This is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly. We're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, right, so welcome back to an episode of Sly Homies Time. Shaking, PlayStation. I don't know what the hell is going on with the PlayStation there for, for a second there. I knew you could not resist, Cooper. You are so predictable. Oh, yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm going to kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big threats from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you, too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, Bentley-san. Yeah, don't expect me to remember how to play as all these characters, all right? Oh, uh, unless... Oh, no. Okay. Got it. There's a thing there. Did not see that. Report to 
hours at 12 o'clock! Oh, sure, why not? What does it all mean, Bentley? Murray, it means we're about to crash someone's party. Prepare for departure. No time for a break, guys. We have to keep moving. There's Bob's cane. Looks like this one is all you, Ryoichi. Yummy! It is my pleasure, my most hairy ancestor. Wait, Bob's got taken? Since when? I didn't see it. I don't remember that. I must have missed something. What the fu- oh, okay, well, fuck you too. <laughs> okay, the Paradox is gearing up for something. We need to hurry. Keep moving, Ryuichi. If the problem has a solution, then worrying is pointless. It will be solved. Great! Wait, Ryuichi? I'm picking up an energy field shift centered on you. Yes, I sense it is my time to go. It has been an honor meeting all of you. Sayonara. It's working. The temporal abnormality is correcting itself. Bob, we need you to get Salim's cane. How far? Why did you first in this game? Would you have already lost? You'll never win the paradox. But it's already won. This is just a crossing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, seeing as how it's been so long since I've played all these characters, you really can't expect me to remember how to play as everybody, right? What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their canes, Murray, as fast as we can. Don't slow down, Bob. Never said the room. Uh, right. I forgot how to slide down really quick, so. Wow. That's a problem. Synchronizing temporal matrix. Electromagnetic pulse stabilizers engaged. Power output at Oh good! Your visit is blip of the Cooper gang. Looks like you're heading home now. Watch out for those penguins. This is going well, but we're not out of the woods yet. Give me the money. I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> we have to keep pushing. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Where was the Salim, you're the only one who can reach Gallus Cave. Forsooth, I would entrust this to no other. Oh. Again with the climbing? Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need... Get going, Salim. <laughs> We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up this schedule. Yeah, so much for that retirement, huh? Salim, no time for napping. We need to step it up. All this climbing is going to turn me into a monkey.
Oh, that was the easiest one. Very nice, Elaine. You've definitely earned your retirement. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right. Now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we need your skills to get Tennessee's cane. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. <laughs> yeah, someone finally caught him out on his weird talk. You don't want to be the final act. Gallant, break those fuses to disable that laser grid. Sir Gallant will triumph. Okay, but where does one? Warning. Oh, right there, duh. Okay. That makes sense. I didn't want to risk like landing in a thingy where it's just gonna zap my ass. That's a bad Bentley. Think it has anything to do with slime? I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. We need to get to the bridge. Sir Gallop, time is definitely of the essence. Also, shall I venture forward? But first, let me grab this money, cause hee hee, I need. And there's not like an actual time limit here, so like, um, bite me. Variance reservoir overflow at maximum. Of course, he's the uh, the only one so far that actually has like a requirement. Take them out, and the path should be clear. Why don't you come find me, Cooper? So I can eliminate you in person. Why are those beasts still on my airship? Can we also just acknowledge the fact that, of course, Sly fell into the trap? Good writing! Obvious trap is obvious! Truly remarkable, Gallop! This looks like farewell! Indeed! Once more unto the breach go I! Fare thee well, you all! More vermin dead ahead! Tennessee, what was wrong with your eyes? You're getting close, guys. I was waiting for Murray to get left behind again. <laughs> Those switches are completely out of our reach. Tennessee, this looks like a job for you. Just what I was hoping for, Bentley. I've been itching to get in on the action too. As Mur as Murray is having broccoli uh, issues. Come on, kid. This is for all the marbles. Also, uh, gold coins, cause you know. Those platforms must have a switch somewhere. This is more fun than square dancing with a donkey. Square dancing with a donkey? You see me? Danger. Oh god! Okay, so it's a, there's the time thing in my Come bob. On, Are 
attention. Initiating bail train backup in three, two. Oh my God, I'm dead. Uh, Jesus Christ. You may have gotten the case, Colonel, but it doesn't matter anymore. Good! Memorizing! Your determination is impressive, but ultimately pointless. Woohoo! I am the greatest shot ever! I'm I already forgot what it was. Alright! I guess break time is oh, nice shooting! Now let's find slot! Ah, alone at last! How cozy. You want cozy? I'm going to throw you and all your friends into the same prison cell. Ah, but no. It is the two of you of whom I am thinking. To be together. Forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this. My marvelous contraption. The time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly! Cooper, you filthy vermin! Woo! Wait! Cut that closer than a $10 shave! I reckon my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I'm sure he didn't hear you. I will crush you! No! Take on Alita and get off this thing! We all need to leave right now! That maniac just tore a hole in time space! I need to finish this fight here and now, for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who could glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second! Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go! Sly, I... I know. Me too. Come, Cooper! I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? Ha! I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. After I cut the rest of you to pieces. Okay, okay. Oh good! Bye time noshing and quick time events. I'm allergic to morons. You know, when I'm done with you, I'm going to crush the rest of your little guy. Only thing that's gonna get crushed is ego. What the? Hey, lucky break, Cooper. You'll be lucky 
if I only break your neck. Come on, monkey. I'm waiting for you. Is this really the fight? Just quick time events and button mashing? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh -oh. oh fuck like you! Just lost his temper. <laughs> you can't win, Kuma. Deep down, you know I should. Wait, did you say posterior? There is something wrong with this stupid sword. I don't know, did you just say, uh, your soup? Because that's the only carrier I can understand. Sly, do you read me? Soup. Get out of there, Sly! Where is that little weasel? I know it's difficult, Cooper, but try to keep up! This thing is coming apart at the seams. Don't fall, then I won't get the chance to kill you myself. So, before we finish this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper. Because they will be your last. Yeah, tell that to my button mashing. Ready to meet your doom? It's time to end this. I agree. But I'm not the one who's going down. Anka! <laughs> Blast it, imbecile! I'll run you! I'm tired of this charade. There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. I tire of this shark. There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on the top of your head. Wow, that was already said. Right! My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. As I said, so predictable. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. <laughs> we just really did a Looney Tunes. It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. 
Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoonus were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest, even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. No. Ryoichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. No. 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 No fucking way. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. <laughs> Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as Egg Thief Extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful if overly dramatic, actor. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards.
Salim Al-Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globe-trotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection, and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. Alright, so now with that out of the way, I can finally give my personal perspective on this whole thing. There are genuine good moments of the game, I feel like. And there are absolutely awful things that they did with this. They destroyed Penelope as a character. They used the goddamn motion controls, and I hate motion controls in video games. It is a stupid, ridiculous mechanic. They made... The paradox, almost like a clockwork wannabe. Like blaming the Cooper lineage and just hating them for your own, because of your own ego, I guess. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I, I fail to see the actual good writing on this, because again, the, the writing is quite, is, it's in question. But speaking about that, really, a quick time event as a boss battle. I hate it. I feel like that is such a cop-out. It is just, oh no, 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 no. That, that, that actually solidified a huge disdain for me on this one. Like I was actually going to rank it about maybe second or even third place, but now I think I might just put it like at the bottom. Like again, I like the way the game looks. I like the music for what I could hear. The characters, you know, except, you know, I think some of the, the new characters were actually pretty cool. Uh, there were some obviously dislikable ones. I, I think I do have to put it, I think, at the bottom. It's not because it's my least favorite, just how horrible they handled that last part. No way. So, with that said, I guess this is the end. And there is something I'm planning, you know, as an additional, um, as one final video. But after that, I guess that'll be it. I am done with the slide franchise until uh, we ever get a new one. And I suppose now, look forward to the Ratchet franchise. Yes, indeedy. So until then, I will see you guys there.